Hello and welcome to day six of the Canadian Martyrs Novena. Today we're asking for the intercession of Saint Noel Chabanel. If you're looking for these Novena prayers, the ones that I'm using are found at catholicdoors.com. Let's take a moment just to collect our thoughts and to ask the Lord for to answer our intention that we're making this Novena for or that we're praying for today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy martyrs and patrons, protect this land which you have blessed by the shedding of your blood. Renew in these days our Catholic faith, which you helped to establish in this new land. Bring all our fellow citizens to a knowledge and love of the truth. Make us zealous in the profession of our faith, so that we may continue and perfect the work which you have begun with so much labor and suffering. Pray for our homes, our schools, our missions, for vocations, for the conversion of sinners, the return of those who have wandered from the fold, and the perseverance of all the faithful, and foster a deeper and increasing unity among all Christians. Amen. Prayer to Our Lady. Glorious Queen of Martyrs, to whom the early missionaries of this country were so devoted and from whom they received so many favors, graciously listen to my petition. Ask your Divine Son to remember all they did for His glory. Remind Him that they preached the Gospel and made His holy name known to thousands who had never heard of him, and then for him had their apostolic labors crowned by shedding their blood. Exercise your motherly influence as you did at Cana, and implore him to grant me what I ask in this novena, if it be according to his holy will. Amen. Saint Noel Chabanel, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For the reflection today, I would just like to look at one verse from the Gospel of the Mass today, from Luke chapter 8, verse 21. But Jesus said to them, My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and do it. those who hear the word of God and do it. This is what we remember the saints for. This is what we remember the martyrs for. That the family of Jesus are those who first hear the word of God and then do it. A lot of people say, well, I can't hear God's voice. If God was real, he would just appear and tell me what to do. He did appear 2,000 years ago. He told us what to do. And still, we don't believe. And yet, even for us who know God exists, who have heard His voice in certain ways, and, and know that He is there for us, He answers our prayers, we still can lose faith, and we can doubt. We can quit listening to the Word of God, we can quit coming to church, we can quit reading our Bible, and even if we are, we can close our ears to what we hear, because it's too difficult. Imagine being sent to martyrdom like the Canadian martyrs. But again I say, if it wasn't for them, we would not have our churches today. We would not have our faith today. And so we cannot let it just be up to them, but it's up to each and every one, one of us to continue on their legacy, to continue listening to the Word of God and building up God's church. We can do this by, by following God's commandments, first of all, to not lie, to not steal, uh, to not commit adultery, to love our neighbor as ourselves. We can follow the word of God to take up our cross in our particular vocation, whether that be marriage, the single, single life, the religious life, or the priesthood. We can use the word of God uh, for decision-making, 
we, when we have a tough decision in our life and we want to know uh, God's will in our lives, we can turn to the Bible to hear God's word. And the final way to listen to God's word is to listen, is to be quiet, is to turn off our televisions, our YouTubes, our everything, and just listen to the voice of God in nature.